Welcome to All Pro Football Data. My name is Jim Coburn, and today's episode... Jalen Polk, wide receiver out of Washington. Uh, we're going to be looking at him in terms of his production profile. One interesting little pack about Polk, uh, Polk is he transferred from Texas Tech to become the second best option at Washington. So interesting thing for him to decide to do, but he ended up paying off, um, uh, if you will. Now, moving on to offensive market share scores. If you're new to the channel, new to the stuff that I do, this is what offensive market share is. You take an individual statistic, you divide it by the team total, and then you compare it to other positional peers to give you a percentile score. Um, that's how that score is derived. And when you take a look at his offensive market share production, um, he had a 49 percentile receiving market share production score, a 64.45 percentile total offensive market share production score, and a 58 percentile touchdown score. All those numbers are not quite anywhere near the all-pro averages or Pro Bowl averages at the position. Uh, they are near the starter averages and starter threshold, if you will. Uh, but that's kind of the biggest issue with him is his production was good but not great uh, overall. And this is out of 3,710 wide receivers since the 1969 NFL um, draft class. Moving on to wide receiver efficiency scores. Um, wide receiver efficiency scores take a look at uh, things like uh, yards per touch or yards per reception. Um, and then, of course, you have touchdown percentage, which is the number of touches divided by total touchdowns. You know, how often did he end up in the end zone when the ball got into his hands? And based on his efficiency scores, he actually tested relatively above average. Um, his, uh, you know, yards per reception was easily in the 70 percentile. And then his um, touchdown percentage uh, was in the high 60 percentile in terms of that particular metric. So, He's in line with the Pro Bowl averages at the position based on his efficiency scores. Uh, when you take a look at his adjusted production scores, though, uh, so adjusted production takes a look at his context for his production. You know, how productive was he for his age? How productive was he for his level of competition? And, of course, how productive was he for his, uh, you know, how strong of a team he was on, um, which is the SRS or single ranking system, which is what um, college football reference uses. Um, and based on those numbers, um, Polk did pretty well in terms of his MSA rating and his pass rating. You know, 80% in terms of his MSA rating, 86% um, in terms of his pass rating, and then 78% in terms of his age. He's definitely within the sort of Pro Bowl potential to starter range in terms of um, his overall adjusted production scores. Um, so taking a look at the guys who tested similar to Polk, uh, these are the players. Uh, you have Puka Nukua which, of course, everybody's familiar with Puka uh, in terms of uh, his, you know, outcomes in the NFL. Uh, De'Anthony Thomas, uh, Tyler Shoemaker, Deronia Wilson, Kadarius Toney, Oliver Williams, Josh Palmer, Demarcus Lodge, Tavarius King, uh, Daryl Turner, Will Franklin. Not a lot of consistently successful wide receivers on this particular list, uh, if you will. Uh, Puka, of course, it had extreme production last year. We'll have to see if he follows it up, though, because, you know, it's sort of just a rookie season. You typically want to get a larger sample size to kind of determine what a guy was. Uh, but this is kind of where things kind of shake out for Polk. He's kind of in, firmly in sort of a backup quasi-starter range. Going to his outlook, I would say Jalen Polk profiles as a backup to starter long term. The biggest weakness on his profile are his average receiving market share, but he does have good efficiency numbers. Most prospects with this profile become backups, but Polk could emerge as the NFL's second or third option long term. So that's kind of the happy medium for him is that he most likely might just end up being sort of a rotational receiver at the next level. But he does have the data that he could, with development and everything else like that, become more at the next level, you know, to kind of be sort of a team's third option, maybe even second best option. But I wouldn't expect him to become like the number one option on a team, um, if you will. Uh, but this is kind of his outlook uh, for him. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Jim Coburn. You can check out my other work at Geometrics on Twitter. Also check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash jcoburn. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.